my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your weekend reading for this weekend of March 8th to the 11th. Time is fluid, Leo. This is your channel. Over this weekend, we do have a new moon in Pisces. So for tomorrow, you will be getting a new moon reading. This is going to be your full weekend reading, but just keep in mind you will be getting a new moon in Pisces prediction reading tomorrow. So let's get you a fortune for the weekend here, Leo, and see what fortune spirit is predicting for you. And your fortune is burnout. Your hard work will see results, but your health needs to be maintained. So check in with your doctor, dentist, and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle. All right, so if you've been doing too much, Headaches, aches, pains, feeling energetically depleted. Now is your time to check in with yourself. Do something for yourself. Have a self-care day. Anything to help your energy feel better. If you do feel like, ooh, I should get something checked out, definitely do so. But Spirit is really giving a strong indication of a burnout energy for you to where Spirit is like, you know what, Leo... You know, you are ruled by the sun, you are ruled by the lion, but sometimes the lion takes a nap, okay? Sometimes the lion sleeps in a little bit, you know? Take care of yourself because you cannot uh, pour from an empty cup. And some of you, your body is trying to tell you something, so pay attention. Um, Get a massage, have a spa day, whatever the case may be. Take care of yourself this weekend. You are being called to do so. You also have the energy of the butterfly. Expect change, transformation, joy, elation, and growth in your life. All right, so when the butterfly comes in, you also have an emphasis on the letter B. Some of you, your name starts with the letter B. Um, but the fact that you have the butterfly and burnout, spirit is saying, you know, sometimes you got to cocoon to expand. Sometimes you need to prioritize your solitude at certain moments. And now is one of those moments because spirit is indicating that a beautiful transformation to your energy will come from it. So if you've been feeling that burnout vibe, if you've been feeling that aches and pains, low energy, now is your time to go in hermit mode and come out stronger, better, more joyful and just more high vibrational, really. So let's see what Archangel is with you, Leo. And you have Uriel with freedom. Yep. Give yourself the freedom to prioritize yourself. Because, you know, life happens. And we always think that we need to do this. We need to do that. We need to be here. We need to be over there. And some of the times you're just being called to be still. And it looks like with this energy, you will feel freer. You will feel lighter. So I do feel like for a lot of you, you have been taking on a lot, spreading yourself out way too thin, taking on the weight of the world that is not yours to carry. So let's see what your quantum oracle is giving you here, Leo, for the weekend and get more details on this energy. So we have a creative endeavor with an event card. So, yeah, Spirit is really saying something to you here, Leo, that when you're in the process of creation, oops, sorry, when you're in the process of creation, it doesn't have to be every single second, every single hour. Some of you actually taking time for yourself and doing something creative is prioritizing you. But there could be a double side message with this card. But let's continue on. We have spirit with the healing light. Beautiful. Look at the double eights coming in here for you, Leo. Pay attention to the number eights. And you also have an event card with commitment. Yeah. All right. So I do feel like for a lot of you, you may definitely sign up for a lot of things. <laughs> You may definitely come to a realization like, oh, wait, I think I may have committed myself 
too many places, too many things, too many people, too many times, whatever the case may be. Spirit is saying to you at this moment, Leo, that when you find yourself face to face with making choices to do things, when you know in your heart of hearts that you need time to relax or that you need to prioritize yourself for a moment, you know, this is a recommitment to yourself. And the more that you show the universe that you do commit to yourself and you don't neglect yourself, the more you will not feel neglected in life. So, I do feel like this energy is very important for you because spirit is calling you to recommit to yourself because I feel like in turn, it's going to move the energy and create the law of attraction to have more energies and people, places, situations more committal to you. So, whoa. So it definitely looks like you are putting something out there and you don't even realize you are. Because when we sit in the stillness or when we sit in the nothingness, that guilt comes over us and we're like, oh, I should be doing something. I should be at the gym or I should be doing my work or I should be checking my email. Some of you spirits like, no, you should just be painting right now or you should just be drawing right now or you should just be playing your guitar right now. You know, spirits like do things that fill your cup because at the end of the day, when we lack that commitment to self, that's when we feel neglected in life. So it looks like something here in you prioritizing your healing and prioritizing yourself and freeing yourself from burdens that are not yours to carry. It looks like you are going to be moving the energy to create some sort of commitment to you. So let's clarify this and see what it's all about. This is for Leo spirit. This is for Leo. Some of you, you may have actually, I'm getting a random download here. I feel like for some of you, you may be called to leave your job and take up a creative pursuit and commit to your own self for finance and career. And some of you, spirit's really, really calling you to do that because if you are somewhere for work or finance that you feel like you need to like uplift yourself to go or you're not excited to go there or you always take what happens at work home with you, that's probably not where you're supposed to be. So let's get your tarot theme cards here. We have rest and reconsider. I mean, damn, are they telling you to, to give to rest here? <laughs> They're like, Leo, just chill this weekend. Just chill. We do have a Pisces new moon this weekend. You are a fire sign. So strong indication to just chill. Um, we also have dreams coming true with the nine of cups. Beautiful nine, nine. Um, synchronized energy here for you two different ways. And we have another nine. Oh my gosh. Look at the hermit. Y'all, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. No way you got triple nines. And I felt the hermit when burnout came out. I was like, they telling you to go hermit mode for a little bit. Not a long, long time, but just for a little bit. And there it is, the hermit. And I literally just explained that and you recommitting to yourself, y'all. All right, well, I hope everyone has a great weekend and I'll see y'all soon. Eight minutes reading, this is it. Wow, this is crazy. Oh my gosh, some of you born on the 9th for sure, sure. All right, let's clarify this. Let us clarify. I do feel like the energy of this Piscean new moon does hold the power of the number 9. Granted, it's happening on the 10th, but I feel like energetically it's holding the numerology, numerology, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Um, it definitely is holding the power of nine, um, showing a completion of a year, completion of, you know, a season, completion of a part of your life. Let's see, on the nine of wands, we have the queen of pentacles. On the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, a lot of you wishing for healing, there it is. She's holding the healing light. Symbolically, this card is holding the universe. That's a really good 
um, imagery match right there. And we have the Page of Wands. Wow. You know, for some of you, you may have you may have a um, health issue that you couldn't figure out a way to heal. Um, the way to heal it may come to you this uh, week and somehow, especially with the triple nines, showing an end of a burdened cycle. And on the Hermit, we have the Six of Swords. Beautiful. There's the movement of the energy. There's the healing. There is the going into calmer waters and not feeling like you're drowning almost. So let's clarify this. Some of you, now that I did feel the energy of drowning, some of you, it has to do with your breathing. Let's clarify this for Leo. On the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Swords. Yes, yeah, Spirit saying, hey, look, there's some, there is a creative skill you have that can create financial stability for you that you keep on avoiding. But that message is going to resonate super strong to people who are at a job that they do not feel fulfilled at, yet do know that they have a skill and talent somewhere deep in their soul. And Spirit's like, hey... The more you avoid that, the more your work situation is going to stress you out because you're on the wrong path. That is a surefire way to understand if you're doing the right thing or not. If you feel unfulfilled, now is your time to figure out a way to fulfill your energy financially. On the page of wands, we have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. There is a big happy energy around healing here. And on the Six of Swords, we have the Lovers. All right. You know, I feel like for some of you, you may be um, not around many people this weekend or something. Like I said, you know, prioritizing solitude. People doesn't mean when you prioritize your solitude, it doesn't mean that people are still not going to try to be around you. Um, so I definitely feel like although you are being guided to prioritize your solitude this weekend, there are going to be people around you that try to um, get your energy. So, you know, sometimes you gotta give people a little bit of disclaimer, like, hey, I'm not ignoring you. I just need time for myself. You know, people have feelings. Everyone has feelings, whether they express them or not. Let's clarify this one more time here for you. I feel like you're getting a couple of different messages, especially in the way that they're coming through in these rows. This is definitely about moving into doing something creative for finance for you. Six of Pentacles. I mean, there it is. Spirit's like, hey, the more you avoid this, the more you're going to feel breadcrumbed. So don't avoid what you're being called to do. Because a lot of you, it's very simple. A lot of you, it's a creative endeavor. It's not sitting at your computer for seven hours or being on the phone for three hours. It's not that. On the Ten of Cups, we have the King of Wands. Wow, this healing energy here looking good, good. I feel like for some of you, I am getting a random love message. I feel like for some of you, this weekend, there is going to be a... Good news, passionate energy around your love life somehow. You could be getting a lot of attention or feeling really seen. And on the lovers, we have the four of cups. Yeah. I don't necessarily feel like you're going to be that open to anybody or anything this weekend. Um, I do feel like you are kind of just being to yourself. And you're being guided to do that. So it's not like it's an issue, but it doesn't mean it won't be an issue for someone else that wants to be around your energy. So I have something random to say. If somebody asks to be around you and you kind of give them a, uh, maybe another day, if they try to act all like dry with you or like they don't talk as much, just, just let them get through it. They're just being tense because they didn't get what they wanted. They wanted to be around your energy. Um, they'll, they'll get over it. They will. Because I do feel, I don't feel like you're going to be rejecting people this weekend, but I definitely feel like you're detouring offers this weekend. I feel like if someone's like, hey, Leo, what are you doing on Friday night? And you're like, actually, I'm hanging out with myself on Friday night. 
maybe on Sunday. And you're like, and they're like, oh, okay. So I do feel like you're detouring energy, especially your rows are all split up. You got definitely three messages here. You can resonate to all three. You can resonate to just one of them. But this is definitely in alignment with you freeing yourself, being in your own energy and placing those boundaries when you need to do so. This is definitely some transformative energy for healing. It looks like it ha could have to do with another person, whether they are the person that gives you the healing elixir or gives you the idea of how to heal and or you could be healing with someone. And on this energy, I feel like spirit is really guiding you to say, hey, Leo, if you don't like what you're doing for work, it is time to detour. It is time to change. I feel like a lot of detour energy here for you. So this is what I have here for you, Leo, for the weekend. Do keep in mind tomorrow you will get your new moon prediction for the new moon in Pisces. So do not forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you are open and or interested to a reading like that. And also Leo Plus will continue this weekend. So if you're waiting for a certain sign, also do ring the bell so you get an alert. In terms of zodiac signs in this spread that could be around you or in your chart, you have... Um, Gemini and Virgo, which is interesting because Gemini and Virgo are mutable signs and we are going to be in a new moon of a mutable sign. So spirit's kind of like, hey, Leo, embrace being adaptable. So let's see what your ending oracle is from the star seed oracle. And you have karmic relationships, Orion, energy, polarity, soul growth, and conflict. All right. Well, let's see what this is all about. Some of you do feel like this is happening for you. And that would make a whole lot of sense as to why you are prioritizing being alone. <laughs> Some of you are like, hey, look. If you're really for me, you'll be around. But if you're a karmic, you ain't gonna like this. And you will not be around, which is pretty good. Here we go. The constellation Orion is thought by many to have been a place of great polarity and eventual unity. Some believe that many star seeds who were part of this cosmic history are incarnate on earth now and are playing out comic re karmic relationships from Orion times. Perhaps you're one of them. Polarity causes conflict and highlights separation. However, because of this, conflict can also result in unity and growth. Too many misunderstandings are caused when we don't open our heart and mind and see things from a different point of view. When we get into reactive second-guessing mode instead of gathering the courage to open our heart, we should admit that we may have reacted because our own woundings and then find mutual ground. We're all innocent children looking to be seen, understood, and cherished. It's much harder to grow closer through conflict than it is to grow further apart. And yet, wait, it's much harder to grow closer through conflict than it is to grow further apart. And yet, that's the invitation of conflict. It's easy to react and take things personally. It's more challenging to see the innocence of all involved and find a way to grow closer through the conflict. It's through relationships that we grow the most. How can you soften your heart and drop your defenses enough to see from a different point of view? How can you see the innocence of all involved? How can you learn to see the similarities rather than the differences? That's really interesting that you got this because I did feel very strongly at one point that you prioritizing your peace this weekend, I feel like someone is not going to like it. For whatever reason, why? Whether it's because they really just feel like they need a friend or they just really want to see you or they just really feel like they want you a part of something. There's just something going on here where you're just feeling guided to take a breather. And I feel like there could be somebody around you that takes that personally. I do want to say that. I felt it during the reading and your ending oracle is literally explained it. So... Some of you, leaving a job, your employer could take it personally. You know, if you change how you're healing and you were healing with this person and now you decide to go heal over there, that person may take it personally. Um, but hey, you know, having that soft heart, like I said, send people disclaimers. Like, hey, it's not you. 
It's me. Because a lot of the times that really is true. I know it's one of those like cliche sayings. People are like, it's not you, it's me. But in reality, it, that, it really is right. You know? So whether it's the job, whether it's the healing detour, or whether it's the solitude, it's not about them. It's about you. And if you need to write out a little sentence to make sure that somebody doesn't feel like it's a personal attack onto them, then that, that'll that take you like five seconds. You know, I get it. We don't want to have to explain ourselves. But sometimes, you know, just as this card literally just explained as I felt this, sometimes people do take it personally. You know, how would you feel if that happened to you and somebody decided to choose their solitude and not give you an explanation and you thought they were mad at you the whole time? You know, so that's what that card is explaining, thinking about it from different perceptions. So you can prioritize your peace, but you don't have to be an a-hole about it, basically. So this is what I have here for you, my beautiful, wonderful Leos. Uh, thank you for being here and for watching. And I truly appreciate y'all so, so very much. I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon, basically tomorrow. Bye now, Leo.